Hi friends, good morning. I want to tell you a story about a way that God is breaking a chain in my life and um, it's to donuts. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but I love donuts. And there's this um, bakery in town that is called Paula's Donuts and they are the best donuts I've ever had in my life. They're so, so, so good. They're these huge, massive cream filled donuts, this angel cream with um, chocolate frosting. They're so good. So for my son's, um, Paul's 17th birthday, he wanted these donuts instead of cake. And uh, I knew it was coming. I knew it was going to be last night, which it was. And um, hey, Regina, great to see you. Happy Saturday. Um, I know that I could have planned to have one of these donuts. I absolutely could have planned it as part of my week, but I am eliminating different foods right now to try to heal my digestion, and it's going really, really well. After years of massive stomach pain and bloating and cramps and um, heartburn and problems um, since February, as you guys know, I've been doing this calorie density that I'm teaching you, and I'm getting so much better. It's still up and down, but every week I'm getting better. And um, the one time I've eaten out, uh, really since February, um, I ate foods I thought were completely compliant. I was sick, you know, for several weeks. So I talked to my husband in advance, and he's like, I really don't, you know, I would worry about you if you eat one of these. I'm like, you're right. I need to just skip it this time. And um, I got to be honest, you guys, I've struggled with this, like with knowing these donuts would be in my house and my family would be eating them in front of me and I'd be at the party and um, I'm back in therapy myself. This last time I went to therapy, we talked about these silly donuts for most of the time, but um, I've just really come to realize this is a chain that I've had in my life. This is a way that the enemy has kept me stuck because anytime that I feel like I need a food, that right there is like a huge red flag. I don't need any one specific food. You know, I've learned so much about that through this elimination diet process. When I went through the FODMAP diet where vegetables and fruits are really restricted, I struggled there. It was like, I need certain amounts of vegetables. I need certain amounts of fruit. No, I don't. God is so much bigger than that. There's no food that I have to have that he can't take care of me, that he can't nourish me. So if I have a chain to this donut, then for me, what that is teaching me is I need to not eat it, to walk through that process of not eating it. And um, I did a lot of mental work this week and I'm still doing it. But one of the things that really helped me was picturing putting that food on the altar for God. And this is something I learned from Beth Moore, that anytime you're struggling with something, put it on the altar and give it to God as a gift. And so I put the thought of these donuts on the altar so many times over this last week. And um, I visualized myself not eating it and having a great evening and, you know, eating something else that was um, healthy for me that was in those calorie density green foods or yellow foods that was delicious. Um, so last night was... It wasn't easy, I'm going to be honest, and um, I didn't feel like tempted to eat it because I'd already decided and done so much work knowing I wasn't going to eat the donut at that time, but it was hard because I wanted it, and I, you know, the human part of me felt left out and wanted to have one, and everybody else was eating them. So what I did in the moment was um, I got away from the table. I did not sit at the table while they were having it, but I was still, like I sang happy birthday to my son and stuff. But as soon as they started, you know, pulling them out and eating them, I went and cleaned up the kitchen. I went and dealt with my youngest son, Zach, who was kind of throwing a fit off and on all night. I almost felt like God used his fit to <laughs> help distract me. My kids with special needs struggle with birthdays. So, um... You know, that gave me a distraction. One of my affirmations that I say to myself is um, I remove the temptation or I remove myself from the situation. And in this moment, I couldn't remove the temptation, but I could remove myself from the situation. So I was still in the party. I was still involved, but I didn't have to sit right at the table and smell the donuts and look at the donuts and picture what the donuts would taste like. I could just be in another room. And um, my son, my husband has been so supportive and I've, I've been, just come to new places and helping him understand how hard this is for me and what I need. 
So we had talked about it in advance. And then that night as he was cleaning up, he said, what, you know, what do you want me to do with these donuts? How can I help? I said, just please put them somewhere where I'm not going to see them. It's fine for the family to enjoy the leftovers, but I just, I just don't even want to, just don't even tell me where they are. I just don't even want to know. And I'm not going to go hunting for them. I don't want to see them. I don't want to smell them. The other thing that I did in the moment is, um, what I just wrote on the title of this video is I said to myself, I love donuts, but I love God more. And at one point I even went in the bathroom and I prayed and I just, um, just get emotional about it, but just say, God, I just, I want to love you more. I want to love you more than this food. Please break this chain for me. And, um, I prayed about it again this morning. So, um, I'm not there yet. I'm still working through this, but, um, I share it with you to let you know that I'm on this journey with you and any foods that you have that, um, you feel like you have to have, I would really encourage you to um, try this, not uh, give it up for a time, not for, uh, it could be for a day, it could be for a moment, it could be for five minutes, it could be for one week, um, and I would put coffee in there too, and drinks, and soda, and sweet tea, and all those things, not because you have to to lose weight, but to break the chain, that's the way to break the chain, I think sometimes it's just walking through it and loving God through it and giving it to him and placing it on the altar for him, that's where the freedom is going to come. Like I said, I don't have all the answers, friends, but I want you to know that I'm walking here with you through it, and we're going to do this together. Love you. Bye-bye.